In Genesis chapter 47, Joseph is the provider of grain. Here's some background. Joseph's entire family, including his father Jacob, are now in Egypt. There's a severe famine in the land, but Joseph had been forewarned by God. Seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. Thus, he has stockpiled grain to sustain not only Egypt, but his entire family as well. In verses 18 through 20, we see Joseph as the provider of grain to all. When that year had ended, they came to him the next year and said to him, We will not hide from my Lord that our money is gone. My Lord also has our herds and livestock. There is nothing left in the sight of my Lord but our bodies and our lands. Why should we die before your eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants of Pharaoh. Give us seed that we may live and not die, that the land may not be desolate. Then Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for every man of the Egyptians sold his field, because the famine was severe upon them. So the land became Pharaoh's. So the famine continues. The money and livestock are now gone. Thus Joseph now offers grain in exchange for land. As a result, all of the land eventually belongs to Pharaoh. Two reflections regarding this passage. Reflection number one, salvation's source. Joseph is the source of salvation to a perishing world. Note the phrase in verse 19 that we may live and not die. Joseph is like Christ, who's the ultimate source of salvation to a perishing world. By coming to him and believing in him, we may live and not die. All who believe in him receive forgiveness, the indwelling Holy Spirit, and the reality of eternal life. And then reflection number two, salvation's requirement. Salvation is requiring everything of the people, money, livestock, land. Similarly, though salvation in Christ is a free gift, it too requires everything of us. We own nothing. We're mere stewards. And we serve and worship the risen Christ with everything we have, our time, our talents, our spiritual gifts, our resources, it all belongs to him. We're servants, we're slaves of Christ, who are called to follow after him wholeheartedly. Let's be those who look to Christ, our Joseph, for our salvation. Let's be those who serve Christ with everything we have, holding nothing back. Thanks for listening.